fun tribe update, a childhood hero of many students spoke at William & Mary. We're keeping you informed about your new student assembly, and students dance for 12 hours straight to support a good cause. That's all coming up now on Tribe Update. Hi everyone and welcome to Tribe Update. I'm Elizabeth Pelletier. The semester may be coming to a close, but AMP has continued to bring great programming to the William & Mary campus. Cassie Black has the story on Bill Nye the Science Guy's recent visit. On Thursday, March 31st, Alma Mater Productions brought the William & Mary campus back to elementary school. A favorite on-screen educator, Bill Nye the Science Guy, came to campus for an evening lecture. Bill began his entertainment career as a stand-up comedian, and his humor brought laughter throughout the sold-out Phi Beta Kappa Memorial Hall. We're both science majors, so we both kind of like have that enthusiasm for science, but he was really good at like bringing everybody in, and his humor, I think, like, well, everyone loved him. Yeah, I mean, I had no idea that he used to be a stand-up comic reading that in the bio, and he really kind of came out, um, and just all the jokes and him just trying to get everyone involved, and I, I really appreciated that. While Bill's personal anecdotes amused the audience, his background as an engineer with a degree from Cornell University was clear when he discussed his views of the importance of science to our future and the state of science education in U.S. public schools. There are not generally elementary science requirements. People don't have to take science when they're real young. And this is a society that increasingly depends on science. We all have our cash machines, our electronic transfer funds. We have nuclear power plants melting down. We have everybody depending on technology more and more and have fewer and fewer people understand it is a formula for disaster. For full coverage of Tribe Update's exclusive interview with Bill Nye the Science Guy, go to our Facebook page or check out the link on the bottom of your screen. For Tribe Update, I'm Cassie Black. Thanks, Cassie. Student Assembly elections took place a few weeks ago, and here at Tribe Update, we're keeping you informed about your new elected officials. Anna Morianu has the story on your new Student Assembly. On Thursday, March 24th, juniors Kaveh Sidigian and Molly Bowman won the Student Assembly elections following a tough campaign that was mired in controversy. They spoke with Tribe Update about their road to victory and their plans for implementing new reforms and initiatives. Um, you know, students' interests change year to year, and I think that our goal is to make sure that there's open lines of communication, we can hear those requests, and the people in the future will be able to hear those. In the days leading up to the election, Sedagian was accused of violating a bribery clause of the SA code, a ruling that was overturned just hours later. Again, reaffirmed what we were running for, but then it was so cool, like, again, come Thursday, that, like, it was very reaffirming to see that the student body, I think, like, also, you know what I mean? Like, if they weren't, like, influenced or jaded by it, they, they agreed with us. Sedagian and Bowman dealt with the conflict and won the election with 56% of the vote, with runners-up David Alpert and Tam Middleton receiving 41%. For me, it's a lot more about student life and reaching out and making sure that this is accessibility and transparency and, like, the Hark Network thing is going to be playing into that. We're about bottom line, get it done, make it, like, intangible, it shows. We will continue to bring you updates about the Student Assembly and Kaveh and Molly's progress throughout the rest of the year. To check out the full interview, you can visit our Facebook page. For Tribe Update, this is Anna Morianu. In a new campus tradition, students danced for 12 hours straight last week in the second annual William & Mary Dance Marathon. A lot of Wildermuth has the story. On April 1st and 2nd, students let the beat control them for 12 hours as they participated in the second annual William & Mary Dance Marathon. Throughout the night, students enjoyed contributions of food and prizes from local businesses and restaurants and dance tutorials ranging from hip-hop and techno to bhangra and swing. Favorite part probably be, I don't know, just <laughs> how we have to uh, choreograph our own dance. I really enjoyed the swing dancing performance. Uh, that was a lot of fun. It's really fun to get to see people who are so good at doing that. This year's dance marathon has gained a lot of attention from its unique and fun mode of publicity. On March 1st, students met at the terrace to participate in a choreographed flash mob. The participants entertained a group of surprise students. Jerome Mbuey, the special events chair of the WMDM executive board, organized the event. I started seeing like flash mobs were becoming like the coolest thing to do, and I thought we are a dance marathon, so I didn't see why not. The event raises money for Network Williamsburg, a nonprofit organization that helps other local nonprofits by providing resources and information for the community. So what we did was match each team that registered with us, each team of dancers, with one of these nonprofits, and we let them like choose which nonprofit they wanted, so that hopefully you know they could start to build a connection with the nonprofit. For more information, go to 
www.thewmdm.org. For Tribe Update, I'm Alana Rodemir. Thanks, Alana. That's all the time we have for this episode of Tribe Update. Don't forget to fan us on Facebook or email us at tribeupdate at wmtv.me with any story ideas. I'm Elizabeth Pelletier. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, from all of us here at WMTV, go Tribe. Thank <laughs> you.